Let's write a C program to print pyramid of stars using nested for loop. So if the user enters number of rows as 20, then this pyramid gets printed onto the console window. Let's directly write the program and I'll explain the logic there itself. So I'll take a couple of integer variables, num, row and column and space. I'll ask the user to enter the number of rows for the pyramid and then store it inside the address of integer variable num. Let's get started with our outer for loop. So outer for loop selects the row. So row starts from first row and then this for loop executes until row is less than or equal to user entered number and for each iteration of this for loop row value increments by one. So let me write inner for loop. We have two inner for loops here. So this first inner for loop prints the space required for the pyramid. Okay, I'll print the space. So I'll write next inner for loop which prints the actual star in that pyramid. So after each row we need a new line. So I'll insert the new line character for after each row. Okay. Now let me print the let me write the logic for printing the space. So space starts from one and then space uh, until uh, this for loop executes until space values less than or equal to num minus the row value. Num minus row value. We will check that out shortly. For each iteration of this inner for loop space value increments by one. So if user enters number of rows as five for first iteration five minus row that is five minus one is four. So four spaces gets printed. For second iteration five minus two that is three spaces gets printed. For third iteration five minus three that is two spaces gets printed and so on. Okay. So this is how spaces gets printed. So the next for loop that is the second for loop in this uh, inner for loop that is the, the printing of actual star. So it starts from position one and until column is less than or equal to two into row minus one times. Okay. For each iteration of this for loop column value increments by one. So let's check the logic for first iteration. 2 into 1 minus 1 is 1. So 1 star gets printed. For second iteration, row value is 2. So 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 stars gets printed. For third iteration, 6 minus 1 is 5. So 5 stars gets printed. So like this, you can uh, also note that we need to have only one, one space here. Do not include more than one space. Okay. So I'll give 5 rows. So this is the pyramid get, uh, which is printed so there is no space between the border here so I'll give zero here let's check the difference I'll give five rows once again so pyramid gets shifted by one position here so let me check with minus one instead of zero so let me give five rows so it gets shifted two positions let me give minus five so the pyramid, the printing of pyramid shifts five positions from the border of this console window. Okay, that's nice. So I'll give 20 now, a pyramid with 20 rows. So that's it. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.